Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Eindhoven country. Playing for today is pointing in the north. We have Vanguard of Iron Cross S. Playing his US forces and his loadout is airborne. Tactical support and heavy cavalry. Taking out with him is Muno. Playing as the Brits who has special weapons. Mobile assault. And Royal Artillery. Next up against him in the south we have TR Tommy. Playing as OKW and immediately locking into Luftwaffe ground forces. And teaming up with him is Fire and Terror. Playing as also and immediately locking into Jaeger Infantry. In terms of rankings, uh, Allies random team, Muno rank 10 with Brits. Vanguard of Iron Cross S. Yes. Uh, and rank 70 to 80, I think it was. And Axis here, a ranged team, rank 130. So I have a, a done a fresh install of Windows this weekend since my first cast coming back. I've you know tried my best to see everything up the same, but you guys in the comments would let me know. If you notice any uh, issues, did that because uh, honestly my computer just wasn't running that well for some reason. <laughs> Hopefully I fixed it though. No? Right down with the action. Greed is threatening the charge in. Trying to look for the snare on the UC, but it backs away and they take a bit of a burst from the riflemen. Speaking of riflemen, these guys coming in looking for a bit of a flank on the stern pose. Need to continue the chase here. We'll do so a little bit late. Re echelon coming through now. Riflemen pulling back. Good control so far from Vanguard. Also pushing on the far side. We do have folks coming in. Riflemen getting a little bit isolated here, but should still be able to win this. Right when they're so strong. Empty in a building versus empty in a building. You don't see that too often on this map. Going head to head here. House connects with the Universal Carrier, but Green Deer has to get out of there. And uh, MG42 jumping out. Doesn't want to test his luck. It is to impose every OKW troop getting forced away on the far flank. And now the screen here trying to charge forwards. Oh, with the sprint. Oh, decides to cancel, sees the UC activating the self repair. Wouldn't be enough damage to get the kill. So has to jump out of that one, but good cancel. Didn't want to waste the munitions. A good idea. Making use of the uh, sprint available from this commander. Fox Grady is coming across. 2v1 against the rifleman over here. You see coming forwards. Here's the Vickers. Squad's charging forwards, but no tech truck down at the moment, so no snare available to really threaten the Universal Carrier. And they get forced away quite quickly. You see, getting a little bit low. Oh, but it does get the suppression on. That squad also forced away. A grenade over here to win that engagement, by the way. It is coming across. Go for the uh, enemy munitions point. We've got a relatively low Tommy start here from Muno. Going for that Vickers that we saw in the building earlier and then to the UC and uh, Royal Engineer now. Position taken. Very well, ben. Who's got the, the enemy caused our supply line. So the three section line. can't charge in against the communities behind heavy cover. Just going to wait for the universal carrier to arrive. Good way to conserve some manpower. And there we go. Big blob coming to the retreat path, getting out of there. Anti-tank gun 
rifle grenade into the incoming uh, infantry section. Got them quite low, but didn't drop any models. We'll be able to get the med kit on those and heal them up quite easily. And uh, Muno going for a pretty fast anti-tank gun here. The fact that he also went for such a low number of infantry sections makes me think he's probably going to rush a medium tank or maybe not. He's locked into Royal Artillery and one of the main reasons you do that is for the Valentine. Interesting. That's why, you know, this is such a popular commander because, you know, you can go for those side upgrades and whatnot. And you can still go for the Valentine after that. The, yeah, the build Muno is currently going for is kind of more of a super fast medium style build. It's a little bit curious. He's getting bullied. Oh, but a couple more coming out from base. I'm coming in at full health, by the way, though. He needs to get some med crates down. And there we go. Ruffman getting forced away. Okay. Tommy did go for a battle group. Maybe he didn't want to put down any med crates before the battle group healing came through. I genuinely think it's good to just get one crate down. Coming to an engagement of full health is so important in those early game engagements. I'm not going to slow you down too much in terms of mines and weapon upgrades. Maybe make it up for that in uh, territory control. I'm coming in at full health. Hey, half track out for Vanguard. Bit of an unusual choice. But I uh, could work quite well in this particular instance. No live vehicles. Can really contend with it from the uh, axis. We do have the 222, but generally the A half track wins that head to head. No boomer, no looks. The command squad in for fire and terror. And uh, going for G43s on the green ears as well. I don't see that too often these days. Oh, bit of friendly fire there from the 222. The command squad got very, very low there. The T gun wheeling itself into position. I'm not getting any shots through. Not nope, setting up again. Two out the back, maybe he doesn't have sight of it. Okay, there we go, connecting. Two to two coming forwards. No, oh boy. Oof. Lost sight of it there. A little bit clumsy. Scenery rounds activated. Wow. It's not coming in on the flank, but the two 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 still there and has picked up another infantry section. Uh, in slightly later timing here. Even with pyrotechnics and the universal carrier and doing the heavy lifting here for Muno so far, eight kills already bit too. Ready to bombard with the base howitzers. And it's working very, very well for him. Oh, that's a big blob of OGW troops. All up there with the CGs as well. Kept in lingering a little bit too long. Oshinmeg has dropped in from Tommy. Generally we see uh, Oshinmeg is more with mechanized builds. Because with mechanized builds your uh, Shred Panzer headquarters comes in a little bit later. With later access to Obers. Then like a uh, no light vehicle rush here. And what's got Falschimjager? Even with this build, a decent option, just not as common. You see back and away, close call. Grenade onto the machine gun. Nice little treat. Doesn't look like that base 
howitzer is uh, hitting too much so it could catch these squads on retreat if they half track and force away raketten wheeling into position setting up going for an attack round and missing through the tree line there going for another one also missing pack hour here now Ooh. wish me getting out a half track coming across to the far side and Raketten briefly pulling back to the center, but now relocating. Might be able to get one shot and slow this down, force it away for some repairs. And the Rifleman will win on the flank, and uh, Vanguard has now upgraded bars. Makes me think he's not that likely to go for tactical support. Kept in there, making use of the uh, on me. Good concussive grenade. But I think the Stern is still going to lose this. Where are they going? Tricked up Peter is waiting around the corner here. C curious decision. I'm going to get a grenade ambush cooking. I'm not sure. But either way, Muno kind of fighting in this very tight corridor, not contributing much to the Allied map control at the moment. MG42 doing some big work. Here comes the Centaur. So this is indeed a super fast medium. And here we go, Shrix connecting and a double Faust. Shrix. Oh, need to keep chasing. Oh, one of the miss. That would have been the killing blow as well. Chasing a little bit further. Oh, and there we go. Gets the kill now. Has to retreat. Through the artillery, drop the concentration barrage. That doesn't hit too much. And there we go, a bad start from Muno, losing his medium immediately like that. Oh boy, and runs the UC right into the incendiary rounds as well. Loses that very, very quickly and has to pull back. Okay, we're going to be tech truck partially covering the um, cut off there. And already upgrade with Panzer authorization, just 10 fuel away from a medium now. I've been late to. Uh, Retarget here to the stern pose, end up having just to retreat. Whoa, mortar pit going down in the center, interesting option. And that's a second pack howitzer now from Vanguard of Iron Cross. And uh, in this particular instance, no mechanized, no walking Stuka early on. All this indirect fire could be quite effective for the allies. Closing the distance, popping the on me on the rifleman as well. They're out there in the open. Artillery drops over here from Muno. Oof. Looks really easy. Activate the Valiant Assault, but still having trouble. There is a lot of Allied troops in a small area. 222 coming in. some damage and here we go mortar pit opening up on the green diesel side building valiant assault squads charging forwards but running into some stiff resistance here a lot of infantry sections 222 on the run kind of lucky that the m1 didn't get a shot off there oh my god but the six pounder did i didn't think he's still in range from back there and our fine terrorist 222 didn't really get that much work done there it wasn't even vet one i don't think had like two kills. But, you know, not the end of the world. Didn't have spotting scopes to upgrade on it, so. Too bad to lose it. 
BP's pretty close at the moment between the two sides. I do think we've had a slight territory edge for the Axis, but it's pretty minor. The most important thing was Muno losing that Centaur immediately like that. In that case, I suppose the ambush camo kind of worked out quite well for Fire and Terra. But yeah, the Axis are going to need to invest in rocket artillery quite quite quickly to try and counter this team weapon formation here on the Allies. Otherwise, they'll have a lot of trouble fighting through the center. Anytime they stand still for a moment, you know, Pack Howie and Mortar Shells dropping on their heads. Omega get the kill there. The enemy a little late on the retreat. Yeah, half track still doing. Oh, squad down over here. There we go. Mortar pit. A little bit of follow up from the bar squads. A second AT gun now for Vanguard. Interesting. Does have uh, the major out. And he didn't spin that. Manpower on a T gun would have just about be there for Jackson. Curious choice. Makes me wonder if he's going straight for the Persian, maybe. Frag grenades now available for action. And uh, speaking of a major, I think that's some major art again dropped down here. No. Going for tactical support. see a calliope so the allies are going to have a tremendous amount of indirect fire between the double pack howitzers more pit and a calliope bring out the recon plane vanguard Take a look at the amount of sight this recon plane gives you such a huge area this one Appreciated uh, aspect of this commander. A capture point is under attack. But in this particular instance, uh, not really terribly helpful. X is basically fully off the battlefield. We planted a uh, oh, T gun in a forced position. P tries to pull back immediately. Oh man! Is that an infantry support gun shot there? I was like, whoa, that kind of looked like a pack alley, but that's the ISG doing the work. Panther charging in here, going for the six pounder, six pounder, hoping the rapid maneuvers getting out of there. No AT guns coming across from Vanguard though to assist his teammate. The Panther doesn't chase him any further from Fire and Terror. And you know, what did go for the Panther first in spite of kind of needing a Werfer first. Artillery barrage ready to just, in, just in case, you know, I don't want to be completely caught short for anti-tank on having one trick squad. Not having anything to defend yourself with could go quite badly wrong. Frontier also putting down two fuel caches, and we've also got a fuel cache up here from Muno, who has lost, you know, two of its infantry sections now, so it's a little bit light on infantry and also invested into a second AT gun. And now into a Firefly, so mass AT guns, mass anti-tank from the Allies, and then mass artillery on top of that, looks like it. Yeah, Jackson now for Vanguard. Lexus could have some trouble uh, utilizing the armor. And there we go, Wiffer coming in for Fire and Terror, good choice. Tommy, going for another squad of Falschenjäger, interesting. Common to see uh, Hobers once you have access to them. A crush action there from the Panther, now getting right on top of the AT gun. Second AT gun there for Vanguard though, trying to wheel into position, having sight blocks. Oh, the 
Getting a little bit of low light artillery dropped on the Mord Pit and the Pack Howies out the back. One of them decrewed, but engine damage on the Panther. Jackson chasing in. Second Pack Howie getting decrewed. And Tommy dropping the airborne assault. And, uh, stopping the Allies from chasing in here after that low health Panther. And may open the door for the access to kill some of these uh, decrewed support weapons here. Opening up with the Rakitten. A few more troops closing in. Okay. So maybe he was thinking about jumping on top of it. And uh, Barclay did come forward there, but maybe he didn't get spotted. That's a word for Brush. So he's also targeting him more. But good activation of Brace, though. And it looks like the uh, anti tank planes have flown off the map. So the Firefly free to come back in here. Oof, and the AT gun from the side. That's for bouncing an important shot there. Oh, Firefly still managed to get one more hit in. So is the Rakitten though, and Rakitten going for those decrew pack howies. Vanguard getting a little bit overwhelmed there. Oh my god! Firefly, how did he ever even have sight? Came forward for the sniper shot. And takes down the Panzer IV. Of the uh, tank commander, but how did he know that the Panzer IV was still within range to come forwards and shoot her like that? Take retreat here from Tommy. Oh, he's gonna lose that squad. To get abandoned though, Panzer IV trying to wheel its way out. But the uh, flares up now from Muno. And now, uh, oh, we've got a Sexton coming through. Firefly coming back in. Jackson going to look for the Panzer IV. Got some smoke down. From Tommy's planes and the infantry support gun. But I think that was the Sexton. Vehicles destroyed. There we go. Finishing the job and also getting a couple infantry models that were near that. And uh, instantly cancelling the barrage after that so it goes on cooldown as quickly as possible too. Nicely done. Light into the center, but I don't think it's hitting too much. Worth her back the other way. And a long range one, though, not hitting too much. And he didn't even get a single pip of veteran, so he didn't hit it anything with that Clypey brush. Nexus uh, after taking down all those support weapons in a pretty good position right now. Oh, that's going to be in the Vickers. And now Muno, look, he's got almost no infantry left. Vickers getting stolen away by Tommy. And they're coming forwards, hitting a mine here in front of the AT gun and the Firefly. And one more shot to go down. Grandy is looking for the snare. Firefly pulling back. AT gun missing the killing blow. We've got Shrek's coming in. So Firefly was right to pull back. Right, covering the Panther exit. Shrek sprinting forwards, trying to get the killing blow here. And they do. Nicely done, Vickers didn't quite get the suppression on. And now the Jackson kind of going hunting, but we do have some mines down. This could go very, very poorly for the Allies again. Jackson triggering that mine. Rifleman coming forward, so a T gun squaring up, trying to get the Jackson kill, but he ends up getting decrewed. Rifleman could continue on their way forwards. One snare will take out the Panther from that low amount of health. Try to go for the recruit on the uh, stolen M1 here. Take it back. The suppression on the squad in the center. Oh boy, squad coming in from the side, getting the snare and the kill on the Jackson. Well done there by Fire and Terror. We've got on the front lines this time. We're going for the base entrance here. Not hitting too much. Maybe we got one kill there. So first two barrages not terribly impressive from Vanguard with that Calliope. Just 
Try and do the best to hold the line in the center. No, no. Didn't quite hold them both in suppression. Take a look at the army size, we can see a big lead fire and terror. Getting close to his pop cap limit, honestly. Oof, running right into the AT gun. He gets out of there quite quickly. Good handling on that. And this is definitely asset going on. You've got these two close air support for Fire and Terror. The airborne assault for Tommy. So keeping that AA half track alive is uh, very, very helpful. Should play quite passively with it. Okay, recon plane up again for Vanguard. Like he still has, you know, a little bit left on the cooldown, but recon plane lasts a pretty long time. So as long as it doesn't get shot down be able to use this intel to target and it looks like both these players kind of using the abilities at the same time flares and uh, recon run he's our random team after all poor coordination long range calliope barrage again Double AT guns for the scatter. Oh, okay. There we go. Gets the Rakitten. It looked like it was <laughs> the shells were going to land a circle around it almost, but a couple connecting Rakitten goes down. If they're coming forwards. Maybe looking at for that Sherman Calliope, but it's already pulled back. And uh, does manage to recruit the Rakitten. Well, not with the stern pose, so it's pretty expensive to reinforce. See this grass loading in? Three hundred points remaining. And the barrage not having too much there. And I was hanging on. Not too far behind on VPs considering the uh, uh, much, much smaller army sizes. Good job of holding on at the moment. Okay, we've got a P4 Panther movement backed up by the double AT guns on this side, but Muno's early warning flare spotting this. So allies can reposition to deal with this. We've got double AT guns in position here, but on a uh, whole fire. Open up now, Pensful backing away, but could take another shot backing through the arc. Looks like one of them missed though. P4 lucky to escape there. Calliope coming in on the double AT guns, but Panther charging forwards, going for the Calliope. Might be in a bit of trouble, Light RT dropped on the double AT guns. No sneering squads, and uh, with the AT guns I think bounced or missed their first shot on the Panther, so can't get engine damage on this Panther, and it's going hunting. Gonna find the Firefly, I mean uh, the Calliope out the back. Here comes a Sherman though, bouncing its first shot. Double AT guns coming back for Vanguard. Have to expect the Panthers probably going to try to come out this side though. A bit indecisive for this anti tank gun positioning. Sherman on the rear armor at the moment. A half track over here. Oh, bad handling of the double AT guns here for Vanguard. And that's going to allow the Panther to get out of here. Rifleman. Oof. Maybe you can make use. Yes, good work there. Making use of the on me. Bringing across the squad for the snare. But it looks like uh, Panther's already far enough away to get away safely here. Now Sherman considering coming in. I think he needs three more shots to get the kill there. So Sherman might struggle, but gonna have the edge, gonna get the first shot through. Oh, looks like he might actually only need uh, one more shot. I forgot there was this other uh, anti-tank grenade 
from the uh, sapper back here. And there we go, Sherman gets the kill on the panther. Thought Fire and Terror was going to get out of that one scot free, but ends up losing the panther. Did do some pretty good damage with it though. World and Panther going hunting for the Sherman, but has already pulled back. The flares up from Muno again, spotting this Panther coming. Should allow the AT gun position to be a little bit stronger. Oh boy! Uh, Sexton getting the kill. What got the kill on that? To the AT guns. It was a sexton brush, but I think it was that AT gun from Muno. Oh no, Sherman getting repaired out there. Ends up going down to the Panther from Fire and Terror. Comet chasing in after it. Oh, doesn't even need it. AT gun finishes the job. The airborne assault coming down again. Do have the A half track up in the air though, and that's shooting down these planes quickly. Patriot AT gun getting finished off. Well, the stolen AT gun at the back from Tommy. The allies are picked into a very small area. I mean, to tank blame there. Second one doing some decent damage. Comet quite low after that. I'll try shooting down a few of these boys. Enemy causing trouble. Trying to take one of our points. Here we go, all the planes shot down. But yeah, so far a few holes in the game from Vanguard, AT gun positioning not that strong. Even when you can see the threats coming, you know, could have seen the Panther like driving around here. I must have had an idea that it was coming for the low health Sherman, but still didn't manage to get snaring squads and the AT guns in to intercept it properly. Which is a little bit disappointing. Oh, Panzer IV goes down. The take aim activated on the AT gun there, giving him the bonus range. Have to take out the Panzer IV. Clumsy stuff from Tommy. That's the second clumsy Panzer IV loss from him. The one over here. Push through the center from Fire and Terror. Uh, the T-Gun's right there, gotta be careful. Okay, fresh Calliope from Vanguard. Targeting the center. Yeah, he's getting out of there though. Now let's hold on. I can dash for this far VP. I'm quite far behind on the VPs now. Gonna get hit by that concussive grenade. A little bit late on the dodge. Got a squad of rifle coming through, but here comes a panther. Should be able to take care of these riflemen. Oh, units clustered up here for Tommy. A shame that the uh, rifle is on cooldown at the moment. Coming, coming through the center here. Interesting. Fire off a phosphorus shell to help hold on to that central VP and allies back on the drain down to 166. Haven't seen much action on this far flank. Pretty well defended at the moment though, Green Deer and machine gun with a camo. Lying in wait. Ontario going for another squad of shricked up P Greens, so clearly he's got, you know, a sprinting P Green camo build in mind this game. That's what he's trying to execute on. Let's see if we're going for any packs at all. I don't think he's built a single one so far. The Sexton going for the barrage on the repairing engine pyros. But didn't quite get the... Uh, Shot he was hoping for there, and once again cancelling the barrage early because it was probably not going to hit anything. Targeting that region, so uh, 
Try to get the cooldown going a little bit earlier. Long range Calliope. Going for those p -rims. Hoping that it's generally not the kind of barrage I like to see. Super long range like that. And generally I think it's better to do it on squads that will then like retreat uh, directly back from the direction the Calliope is firing. Tends to result in more wipes. We try and do it like side on. Like we kind of saw here, squads moving side on. Doesn't seem to be as successful. There's exchange, but we've got a lot of rifles over here. Overwhelming. You can just try to hide in the corner with the ambush camo. Coming out of camo there for a little bit, and now uh, the jig, the gig is up. Got a couple of squads here. Maybe going to go for some grenades into the retreat path. Oh, but uh, just judging the timing a bit there. And another Calliope from Vanguard, so he's not giving up on those. Yet another one. And yeah, there's a chance for them to be quite devastating. Nice teamwork there by Tommy though, dropping smoke to help cover the P Green's retreats though. Team play. Oh, squad down. IP going for the machine gun in the center. And gets the white. Comet in the center as well. And double machine guns. It'll be very hard the access to cap there. It's also coming down. We've also got a 70 pounder at the back to help defend all this artillery. Got an interesting idea. Try to stop any of those fire and terror dives in the future. Another Clypey coming down, but these squads dodging forwards with most of the damage. At the charging forwards here, no. Disengaging. Oh, get the flank on the machine gun over here. Nicely done. So the green is over here though. Machine gun is going to need to retreat though. Let's try a soft retreat. He's going to lose the veterancy on it. Okay. Oh, oh boy, running right into the wrong neighborhood. All those Shreks. Only two of them fire them though. Oh, there are the rest of them. And uh, now popping the sprint. Oh, but they get suppressed I think that was all by that one mine what a lifesaver Comet getting out of there, Panther coming in for the dive 17 pounder changing directions Snare's coming through Panther with the engine damage now and the double sexton's getting out of there could lose the ambulance however Comet out the side needs repairs Double AT guns coming in for Vanguard now. Maybe we could set one up facing this direction, one in from this direction. I think we're going to send them both together though. Make it a little bit easier for Fire and Terror to dodge. And here comes another Panther from the other side. 17 pounders already changed directions, however. And that gives Tommy massive cold feet. Get out of there as quickly as he possibly can. Ambulance getting destroyed there by the Panther in the base. WT gun sitting up. Enforcing this one. Panther's going to go down here. We're getting the hell beat out of us. We got 75 points remaining. 17 pounder. Man, that was crucial. Tommy looked like he was coming in there for the killing blow, but oof. Potion maybe going down there. I think it was to the Calliope. Nasty stuff. You know. Good effect on target. Sound like they got the kill well. 16 the kill there. 19 kills now, nearly vet 2. It's one of the highest vet 16s I've seen in a while. And the army sizes now have kind of been reversed. 
Now the allies are ahead, though their composition is quite shaky. Might easily get overwhelmed by some uh, daring panther play from Tommy. Though they still do have to contend with the 17 pounder, which could be a bit of a headache. Axis 3 just need to hold on to the VPs though. And Fire and Terror continuing to invest in memes and still going for another tank or rock nutty or anything like that. Going for another Pigwin with the Shreks. We do have quite a lot of machine guns now from Munu. It's got four in total. And we do have a half track as well. So that's a lot of suppression to counter these Pigwins. Might make it tough for Fire and Terror to utilize them. Ooh, close range six in there. Nice to see. Shotgun action. Just nine kills on that now. Well, coming out to the far side, looking to open up the VP for the capture. Very early retreat there from Fire and Terror. Now we're going for the cap on that far VP. 61 VPs left for the Allies. Clarpy stopping the capture over there. Okay, Half track doing his best to hold the line, but we've got double Panthers coming in. We've got double AT guns right here. Squad, I think they're down to the Calliope there. Oh, manages to decrease the half track in the nick of time. Panthers on the run. Oh, oh, bit of traffic jam here from Tommy. Try to pop the smoke. Getting out of there though. Shooting a little bit late to the party. We got a whole bunch of sprinting pigrins coming around the corner. We're looking to get on top of these. Calliope's going right around the corner here. It's just on the drain at the moment. And we've got a Cromwell joining in for Muno. Basically all he could fit in his pop cap. Oh, okay. Pigreens get spotted here. Sprint not quite off cooldown. And that gives some time for the Calliope's to get out of there. Sprinting forwards now. We're looking for the Sexton. It goes down very, very quickly. Comments over there though. Phosphorus will go a long way. Sherman coming through. Popping smoke. Going for the crush. Good crush from Vanguard. And that forces the retreat. A lot of them could go down here on retreat. Three tanks shooting away. Dropping one Shrek there. One squad down already. Tommy dropping smoke. Trying to cover the retreat path here. Eagreens are getting picked apart though. That's to lose another one. Panthers meanwhile in front of the double AT guns here for Tommy. Oh, three Panthers, but massive traffic jam, and another Pigman goes down. There was two that he lost there. Just for one six, and not paying dividends. Double Panthers sitting in front of these double AT guns, though, taking so much damage. Not getting that much done in return. Tommy has dropped the airborne assault, and this time with no A half track around to shoot it down. Could actually be quite effective. Bring him on the Comet now. Oh, but he avoids most of the damage. Backing away there. Like on the far VP. Stopping the capture. And triple cap against the Axis at the moment. It is on the retreat. Could still go down though. Quite a few bars. Cover craters so on the retreat. No, not quite enough. This is capping on the far side. Drop their light artillery barrage to open up the capture. Double machine guns getting forced away. Foshing Jaeger with the camo trying to do the cap in the center. Close range sexton barrage going at it again. There we go. Being hit by the phosphorus, getting revealed. Still trying to get the capture going, and uh, a couple of these shreks now. With the engineers, there's another one back there as well for the stealing. Oh man, a lot of damage. That 17 pounder got through for one hit as well. If there's a low after that. I think if possible, the Axis should try and bait some of these allied tanks away from the center. So you can't do much when they're that close to the 17 pounder. And the AT guns also parked right in the middle. 
Oh boy, Panther getting caught on the trees. Seventy pound needs one more shot. And there goes the Panther. Clumsy stuff there from Fire and Terra. Oh, and the Peagreen Shrek's just diving in. Not quite getting a kill on the Shim, which is up to V3 now. Hasn't been on the battlefield for very long. And we got a lot of veterans here very, very quickly. And the Axis, look at this Fire and Terra, especially all those uh, Peagreen throws. It's got almost nothing left at the moment. Should have been playing a more steady game, just trying to wipe these team weapons with their own rocket artillery, but instead trying out some memes and they're not working out too well. Oh, like the long range taking down the machine gun there. Heard a tank, tank crew saying bail out. I saw a sort of tank going down though. Okay, another panther coming in for fire and terror. Recon plane shot down. We've got triple panthers out on this far left flank. The recon plane would have spotted them. Another Sherman coming in for Vanguard. Interesting. My plane, plane coming in for Tommy, smoking off the 17 pounder through the center though. Here we go, triple panthers on the far flank. AT guns have also already uh, slightly rotated though. Don't have far to go to deal with the triple panther pressure. Got some falsion Jaeger there though. The pressure on the AT guns. Sherman kind of forced to meet those. Panthers back away. Didn't get much damage done there. Assisting with the cap on the far flank, but here comes the Panther. Shrieks don't quite get their shot off. Panther does. And Captain uh, trying to continue the capture here. I'm not sure what exactly he's doing. Okay, retreating now. Kind of lucky that uh, the squad didn't chase and maybe a grenade into the retreat path there. Comet dueling the Panther but bouncing. Some concentration fire coming in somewhere. Oh, on the far side. It's going to took down a squad from uh, Tommy as well. Maybe the Vetted Falchimega? I don't see them on the uh, bar anymore. Well, though, going for the capture. Still only 61 VPs left for the Allies. Now the Axis are kind of getting into dangerous territory, down to 158. Okay, Panther getting aggressive here, charging forwards, but running right into the double AT guns again. And just taking a beat down, it's just a lot of repairs. Oh man, this Panther play from Tommy, not that sharp. Taking an absolute hammering from the AT guns. Didn't even pop the uh, AP ammo on those. It's getting some good penetrations in anyway. Oh boy. Oh, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like a slightly in his retreat path. Sherman HC from the front. Squat down. Good Comet. And Cromwell finding the Panther. Back in the way. Back in. So two pounder is facing this direction. Make a nice truck is down for Tommy backing away. A couple of the Panthers to there. Tim Pies doing the repairs over here. But yeah, Axe is really struggling for the VPs we've got. Fire and tier with enough munitions for a Stuka close air support. Which could be pretty big. They could like catch the AT guns out of position from Vanguard, who has pulled them all the way back to base, healing them up. If you catch those out of position and drop the planes to 
zone out any uh, tanks coming in to save them. That, that would be huge for Tommy because he's really struggling against those AT guns at the moment. And that 17 pounder uh, w working a treat for Muno is a really good call. Zoning out these Panthers very, very effectively. Got a Valentine now in for Muno. He's coming on the offensive, going for this Panther. Two Panthers somewhat hard, close. Okay, Panther with the rear arm exposed. Smoke and artillery dropped. Oh, we got the Axis dropping their planes, but this is a Panther gangbang. And that goes down very, very quickly. Kevin getting some attack round shots, and we've got quite a few low health units here. Oh, well, here come the Panthers. They're hungry. Cromwell oh, still alive. Looks like it didn't take full damage from one of those hits. And the British armor going down fast. At this backing away, 17 pounder still in range. Another unit down. The one Panther also going down. These AT guns don't know which way to face. Oh, but the Shrek's coming in from the side. The stolen Shrek's. Panther with the rear armor exposed from Fire and Terra. Goes down to the Sherman there. Other Panther also with the rear arrow exposed. This one also with the rear arrow exposed. And all those Panthers just got chopped up. The uh, Cromwell managed to get out of there alive. And so did the Valentine. So really only lost the uh, Comet, right? And that big armored assault with all of those Panthers. Cromwell, I think got quite lucky though. Kind of took like an AoE damage shot to take full damage from that hit it would have gone down otherwise but yeah I mean <laughs> rear armor exposed from all those panthers and man they went down quickly after that double AT guns hammering away 17 pounder in range two or three hits there as well and this did not have a fun time Finds the uh, pioneers repairing over there. Just 17 kills on that now. Cromwell gun tank ready for action. Doing Cromwell's not Cromwell Valentine rather getting a flank on the. Rickett's in here and uh, looks like it's going to be the end of the Falshi Mega as well. Oh, Running hot with those main gun hits. Oh, Panther trying to come through but the double Shreks. And there we go, Axis is throwing in the tower knowing that they're way too far behind to make a comeback here. Call it a day. So yeah, it was kind of it was an interesting match, you know, Fire and Terror trying out some uh, mass pea green Shrek memes coming on that deep, deep flank. Got a little bit unlucky, like maybe if his cooldown was a tiny bit faster on the sprint would have been able to take down a couple of those Calliopes as well, but still on about five seconds cooldown when uh, Vanguard spotted them coming and managed to get out of there, only lost one of the Sextons. And yeah, maybe, you know, the pea greens Similarly, you could have done a lot more damage without that early warning, but maybe taken down the 17 pounder, but no. 17 pounder worked a treat against the Panthers all game, just out crazy damage and kept all this artillery safe for the Allies, which really just wrecked all of the squads from the Axis. Axis could have tried to play a more steady game. You know, tried to take down the double AT guns from Vanguard with their own rocket artillery. Just try to drain out those last 60 or so VPs that were on the clock for a long time. But we tried out some uh, mass panther action and uh, didn't end up working out too well. I was in the rear armor on a few of those occasions and it went down pretty quickly. I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.